on my face. Alright, hi guys. You guys seem to like these videos and I really enjoy making them for you. So, we're just doing jumping jacks and we're supposed to do them for 20 but we just did them until we just couldn't bother doing them no more. And this was our warm up. So we're doing jumping jacks for for however long we're going to be doing it for. Then we're going to be moving into a routine that I created and I'm very proud of myself. This routine is, it involves compound movement. And in my research, because my aim is to lose um, body fat or to lower my body fat percentage, compound movements um, aid in that. It's very good for fat loss. So right now we're just doing some kettlebell um, side swings. If you're using the... What do you call it now? If you're using the dumbbells, they call them wood, wood chops, I believe. But I'm using the kettlebells, so I call them kettlebell side swings. I don't know. And this area, this, um, it works your back. So my back fat is my problem area, as you guys saw in the, my very first, um, workout routine. That's, that's my weakness, my back fat area. And this also works the heck out of your arms. So compound just means it's, it's working more than one muscle group. So this works your um, your obliques, your back, and also your arms. Arms meaning your biceps as well as your triceps. So now we're going into kettlebell swings. And this, if you should always keep your core engaged. By keep your core engaged, I mean always keep your tummy sucked in throughout whatever routine you're working so that that area is constantly being worked. If that's your weakness or if that's weird trouble area or whatever. And when you do that, especially for the kettlebell swings, you feel it even more. But as you can tell, I'm going down in a squat. So I'm working my glutes, my hamstrings, my quads, as well as my back and my um my abs. A little bit of abs, but not much. And as well as my arms. Kettlebell swings almost like a full body workout so then we're going to get these rods and Chantel told me that these weigh 45 pounds on their own and your girl has been squatting with um like 20 kg so I'm doing a probably 100 and something squats when I use these rods but yeah so what we're doing is we're working our inner thighs our outer thighs and our glutes and also our hamstrings and our quads. So we're doing a lower body workout now. So this is, as I said, this routine I created. I just watch a bunch of YouTube videos like what you guys are doing now. And I developed this routine. And this will be my go-to full body workout. My go-to compound um, um, body routine. Compound workout body routine. Because I absolutely love it. And I think we're doing this for either 10 or 20. I think it's 10. But listen, we did this, I think, three times. So we'll have two more sets left. This is so difficult to do when i say your quads are on you your armstring your your your, your inner tie your outer tie like yo it's a bunny yeah it's a bunny then we're going to be moving into um like deadlifts but going up into like arms so you see that so i did um hamstring stretch so i'm working my hamstrings there not deadlift, deadlift sorry just working my hamstrings as well as my arms so I'm going down and I'm rotating my hand up. You see that? So my palms are facing up when I go up with the weight. When I'm going down, my palms are facing down. And then, yeah. <laughs> so use an 8 gram, 8 kilogram kettlebell. We're going to drop to a 4 kilogram kettlebell, um, dumbbell for the rest of the set. So I'm going to do this two more times. Right about 36, 37 calories and counting in five minutes. Alright, so now I'm going to be going into some pull ups, and these are assisted pull ups. It's the assist, uh, assist pull up machine. And you see, all right, when you look at your weight thingy, if you have one at your gym or whatever gym you go to, there's different ways you can put it at. No, you see, the higher in weight you go the lighter it gets and the harder it is for you to do the pull up so the machine is not really assisting it like to that so i put mine at 110 when i look at your pull up machine i see what i'm talking about but at 110 i'm able to do it effectively for one go but when i reach like two and three it's a burn honey like it is a burn it's difficult so for our pull-up machine we have like some outer bars you can hold and some inner bars and i'll go from outer and inner for each set and i do this three times i'm going to be doing around i'll be doing arms here then i'll be moving on to my inner thighs and my outer thighs for the um on the abductor machine so that's basically what i do 
you guys i am so grateful that i can finally see some back muscles i've never seen my back muscles before in my life you see i mean it's i don't know if you can see but you see where my, my crop top ends they said a little bulge that's that's my that's my weakness right back there i hate that bulge so much and the kettlebell swings i feel it in that area in my lats i feel feel it in my lats and in that lower back fat area there so i feel it so much see how i went from outside to inside like what i said to you guys so i went from outside holding on to the bars and I, then i went on the inside and this is i'm just like burning the heck out of my back i love doing arms and back i absolutely love it because that's my problem area and i love doing um lower body upper body and lower body workouts those are my fave ones to do <laughs> So this is the abductor um, machine, I think it's called, it's just called the abductor, I believe. And I'll be working my outer thighs and my inner thighs now, bo, bo. Chantel had this thing on 90 pounds. I'm like, what is going on here? Who did the, Reginald, did you put the weight at 90 pounds? I was just like, no, bo, bo, this is not working out. This was it was hard it was i never go 90 the most i go is like 50 and 50 is still very light so i can probably go 70 but this 90 <laughs> a bubble Guys, this workout was no joke. This abductor, that 90 pounds, I'd, I don't know what Chantel was thinking. But I pushed through and I did it and I accomplished it. <laughs> and that's all that matters. Look at me assisting myself a little bit. If someone's get into the motion, then I can do it easily. But, but just to start, it's very difficult to start because of the amount of weight that's on it. But yeah. So next I'll be doing um <clears throat> sit-ups. I don't know what you call this machine, but it's the sit-up machine thingy. And I use this every single time I'm having Abde and Chantel doing hers. So we did, I like doing what you call them rounds, not supersets. I like supersetting. So that means I just like doing more than one exercise over and over. So I'll do abs and then run, go do what Chantel is doing. Then come back to this machine, then go back to do what Chantel is doing. So I like doing that because I like, whenever I'm working on an area, I like to just continue to work to kind of exhaust that um that muscle group i like doing that so i did out i think just now and then now i'm doing up so i variated them variated i did variations <laughs> um now i'm going to do what Chantel is doing for me just look at my strong woman like my lift so i'll be doing my oblique i love doing obliques oh it's my favorite exercise for obliques it's the second time you guys are seeing me doing this because i love doing obliques because i want that coca-cola buckle shape because i eat iron d place guys that's it for my workout thank you so much for watching it was a short one i did not have an outro for this so i'm telling you thank you right now thank you for your support lyric uncut bubble let go honey so i'll be doing singing over here vlogging workout routine what i eat in a day videos all that good stuff thank you so much for your support and i'll talk to you guys in the next video oh don't forget to follow me on instagram and as well as snapchat both names are lyric rochester and don't forget to follow pomi fitness on instagram as well um their instagram is pomi fitness and to order the fitness belt you can go on pomi by lyric.com bye guys mm -hmm.